girls' night out in Vegas, AVP style. We are at the fabulous Caesars Palace to find out who among the 12 elite women on the AVP tour will earn the title, Goddess of the Beach. Defending champion Misty May, Carrie Walsh, Elaine Youngs, Rachel Walkholder, Holly McPeak, or any of the top dozen AVP superstars has an equal shot at the grand prize. The AVP in Vegas, where the girls and the action shine like stars in the desert sky. Las Vegas, Nevada, home to so many great things, home this weekend to the greatest female volleyball players on the planet. But this weekend it will not be Misty May and Carrie Walsh who reign supreme because they're not allowed to play together. Because today it's all about who will become the goddess of the beach. Not a better setting than right here at beautiful Caesars Palace on the world famous Las Vegas Strip as we are set once again for the ADP Crocs Tour here on FSN. Well, hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg, and welcome to what will not today be the Misty May Kerry Walsh Show because this is an individual event. And the one rule, and the most important rule, you can't play with your regular partner. So, did you ever wonder if Misty played with somebody else if she would win, or if Kerry played with somebody else if she would win? Well, with this tournament format, we may just find that out tonight. 12 players were invited, the top four received a bye to the second round. Each player worked through their pool of teammates and they gained points and two arrived with the potential of becoming the goddess of the beach. Who are those two players on the women's side of the AVP Crocs Tour? None other, better to tell us than Chris Skeeter McGee. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have been waiting for, who's gonna be goddess of the beach? Vegas, are you ready? in the entire world to square off right here for you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, out of Long Beach State University, a 1998 national champion and female NCAA athlete of the year, a two-time Olympian, 67 open victories, and the reigning MVP of the AVP. Ladies and gentlemen, she is the turtle, Misty May Trainer. Her usual partner is now her foe on the other side of the net. She also is a two-time MVP of the AVP and a gold medalist. She has 63 open victories and a four-time first-team All-American out of Stanford University. She is Carrie Walsh, six feet of sunshine. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Misty and Carrie right here. Misty and Carrie, step on up over here. Misty, Carrie, come here. Carrie, come on over. Misty, Carrie, you can go first. Big moment, you guys are finally gonna play against each other. It's gonna be a little bit weird. You get to pick one person from this field to represent you and try to become goddess of the beach. And here you go, ready. All of a sudden, I just got nervous. Okay, first of all, I want to thank my pool for getting me here. You guys all rocked. I had so much fun with all of you. Um, I'm going to play with Flying Snow, Miss Rachel Walkholder. Rachel Walkholder, Flying Snow. And the turtle, Misty May Trainer. Your moment. Are you ready? Sure. She's ready. Um. I also want to thank my pool. I was glad I could get Tammy a win today. Um, good old granny and the, the youthful turtle. Um, but, you know, turtles are pretty slow, and they need someone to, you know, stomp on the animals when they attack them. So I'm going to go with the raging bull. Elaine Youngs, ladies and gentlemen. Elaine Youngs. Come on over, Ewan. They teamed up last year as Misty took home Goddess of the Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, make the noise. All right, so perhaps I was mistaken here at Caesars Palace. As, as always, I am joined by none other than Sinjin Smith. Maybe it will be the Carrie Walsh and Misty May show, but they're going to play against each other. Carrie Walsh gets to play with Rachel Walkholder. That's not too bad. You know, Carrie Walsh, best blocker in the world. She could play with just about anybody and do pretty darn good. 
But Rachel, great defensive player. They've played before. They've won before internationally. So they are a great team. The all-time winningest player of all time amongst females was not selected. So she put on this uniform as our broadcast partner. Holly McPeak, you played with Misty May. You played with Elaine Youngs. Tonight they play together. Yeah, I think I was second choice tonight, but that's okay. I think it's going to be a great matchup tonight. Second choice to everybody? Well, from what I heard, yeah. Or was there a tie for second? I'm well, sorry. You know, I was second to you for sec second to UI because Misty wanted a blocker, and I was second to Rachel for a defender. Well, you know what? You're first to us. Thank you. All right, Holly's with us, of course. Sinjin's with us, and so is Mary Strong. Carrie, why Rachel Walkholder? Rachel's a stud, you know, and I want some somebody who can compliment me. Um, she plays a lot like, like Mixty, you know, she plays great defense, she sides out like a champ, and we have really good energy together. We had so much fun playing in our pool, so I'm hoping we can carry that over. We play uh, Misty in a lane, which is going to be tough, but I feel very confident. Is it awkward playing against Misty, especially when she's in a turtle outfit? I want to, I mean, I love playing with Misty. I have so much fun with Misty. You know, she's my girl forever and ever. Um, but it's going to be fun. You know, I think we've both been looking forward to this. You know, it just kind of, it's refreshing to get out there and try something new. But um, it's way better to play with her than against her. That's yeah. very true. And Misty, why Elaine Young's for you? Um, I felt, well, going up against Carrie, um, you know, it's pretty tough. I would block, but she'd still hit over me. So I think, um, you know, to battle Carrie's offense, I needed a taller block. When you were making your decision who to pick, did you think that you were pitting ex-partners against each other? Did that come into your decision at all? I didn't really even think about that until after I made the decision. But, um, you know, I had lots to think about and lots to choose from. And, um, you know, I tattled with a couple other ideas, but um, went to the Raging Bull. Um, here's the big question. Are you playing in the outfit? If I could, I would, but I don't think so. Well, Unless it had Nautica on the show. Exactly, that might help a little so. bit. Good luck to both of you ladies out there. All right, so it's Carrie against Misty. Afterwards, they'll arm wrestle, then there'll be a little Muay Thai, but first, the volleyball on FSN. The AVP Crocs Tour Goddess of the Beach is being brought to you by Crocs. Nowhere close to normal by refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. By Gatorade Thirst Quencher. Gatorade, it's in the AVP. Is it in you? And by McDonald's. You know what, kind of like USC and Texas one season ago in college football, oh, what a surprise. Look who were the odds-on favorites here at Caesars Palace to become goddess of the beach. Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh. Shocking. You mean the two best players in the world? Yeah, shocking. <laughs> Let's navigate our match, brought to you by Nautica and Sinjin Smith. Okay, you want to know what these guys have to do? Misty May Trainer, Lane Youngs. May Trainer, whoop it up. When, when May is having a great time, she plays really well, she plays really loose. It's, it's great to watch. And use their instincts. Elaine Youngs, they both can cover a lot of court. I'm sure they just have to get out there and receive serve, and they'll be just fine. Carrie Walsh and Rachel Walkholder. Walsh mess them up. You know what that means? That means block a ball or two, and that'll destroy any team. And guess what? Just like before. They have won before. They won two international events against very tough competition. They can do it again right here. Mike Goldberg, Sinjin Smith, Holly McPeak, Mary Strong. Set for the championship to find out who will become the goddess of the beach. Holly McPeak, you have won in this format before. I have to imagine it's fun to play with everybody else. And it, it's still very competitive because all of you guys are great competitors, but it's a little less competitive than a normal event. Well, it's really fun because you get to do things that you're not used to doing. For instance, this weekend, I, I was able to be a blocker at times. That's something I never get to do. I also played a little bit of left side. So I think it shows versatility of different players. Missy May is very versatile. She won my pool and was a blocker, defensive player, played left and right and did it all well. The rules of our match are the same as they are on the regular ADP Crocs Tour. Best two out of three games. First two games to 21 points. Third game to 15 points. Rally scoring, which means a point is scored on every play. And you must win each game by two points. And I must tell you right now, do not adjust your television set. Yes, Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh are on opposite sides of the net, as are Rachel Walkholder and Elaine Youngs. But that's a story that developed late during the AVP Crocs Tour 2006 season. That's a book 
That is, <laughs> that's, that's a book a that is not totally written yet, is what it is. And here we go. Finding the line, Kerry Walsh. Rachel Walkholder, the Colorado Buffalo, will serve here. Rachel Walkholder, a tremendously talented youngster on the tour because some of her greatest volleyball is truly still ahead of her. Longtime partner of the woman who just finished with authority there, Elaine Youngs. In fact, Elaine Youngs and Rachel Walkholder were in 23 AVP events together, made all 23 semifinals and won five times. They were eliminated all but one time in each of those 23 AVP tournaments by Misty May and Kerry Walsh. Service air by Elaine Youngs. Now here's the big two, the two that have an opportunity to become the goddess of the beach. Six feet of sunshine, who has the role model of Las Vegas' own Andre Agassi, who just played his final tennis match at the US Open. Kerry Walsh, four-time All-American from Stanford. Kerry <laughs> Walsh with 63 career wins. Misty May Trainer closing in on Holly McPeak with 67 career wins. 61 of those wins for Walsh and May Trainer have come as teammates. Holly, you better win. I know she's been on my tail for a long time and I'm standing still. That's not good. Well, it's all the ones you gave to her early in her career. That was fine. You were playing with her. Yeah, you can was... always stay ahead of her. <laughs> Well, this may be the one way that Kerry Walsh can close one win closer to Misty May, is to defeat her in this great format. Walkholder to serve. And that serve finds the line for the ace for Rachel Walkholder. I think this is a really interesting matchup. These two teams, a lot of people would like to see them play together. So this is something a format that allows an opportunity for these two teams to compete against each other. The cut shot by Misty May. Take a look at our Bud Light recap as Misty May trainer, the odds on favorite, and last year's Queen of the Beach made her way to the championship again. Misty was great all pool long. She won all three of her matches, two straight. She beat myself and Tammy Leibel, then her and I beat Youngs and Leibel, and then she was able to beat EY and myself. So she played steady all weekend, blocked balls, played defense, and is really playing some of the best volleyball of her career. And Carrie Walsh. Well, Carrie Walsh, same deal. You know, they both got seeded into the second pool, so they missed all those, those fluffy first round games, and they only had to play three. And look at Kerry Walsh just destroyed everybody. He's destroyed it with Jen Moss, destroyed with Jenny Johnson, destroyed, destroyed with Rachel Walkholder. She really ran right through everybody with all her partners. And the other competitors in their finishes here in this format, Holly McPeak and Jenny Johnson Jordan finish in third place, earning over $7,000, followed by Jennifer Boss and Tammy Leibel, Diane Denekeshe, Nicole Brana, Nancy Mason, and Annette Davis, all competitors here amongst the top 12 on the women's side of the AVP Crocs Tour. And Holly's going to double that money right after this telecast. Now, how's she going to do we that? Go right into the casino. There you baby. go. <laughs> right into beautiful Caesars Palace, our host casino resort for a great weekend of beach volleyball action. This is the perfect venue for this tournament. Strong serve by Youngs. Walsh over May. I'd like to see EY doing more of the blocking. Misty's a good small blocker, but I think EY is more dominant at the net than Misty, and Misty defensively is awesome. May over the top, and it's wide. <laughs> you know, Misty doesn't have a lot of opportunities to go against a big block like a big block like Kerry Walsh, and and now we saw that Kerry actually messed up. Misty just a little bit. Misty hit the ball out of bounds. The hammer by Misty May. And who better knows Misty May's game than Carrie Walsh and vice versa. So that's that's one of the interesting aspects of this matchup. 
you know they both want to win this pretty badly. Well, remember last year, Sinjin and Holly, that Carrie Walsh did not compete in this event here in Las Vegas because she had the ab strength. And Misty May went on to become the queen of the beach. So now it's Carrie's turn to try to return the favor as she is healthy. And Misty Mays is healthy. She's been in a long time. On two, and Youngs goes long. 7 4, now 8 4, Walsh and Walkholder. That is really difficult to say. Right. Yeah. The hammer by May. 8 5. It looks like EY switching it up is going to have Misty May stay back and play defense. No, she knows that their best matchup is with EY at the net. Good, 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 good. Good. Yeah. Walkholder did a great job receiving that tough serve and then finishing the point for her partner here tonight, Carrie Walsh. Rachel Walkholder, as good a defensive player as there is on the AVP Crocs Tour. And she also has the ability to fly and finish, as she did right there. You know, more than two decades or so ago, it was none other than Evil Knievel and Robbie Knievel having fun here at Caesars Palace. Caesars Palace celebrating 40 years as the home of champions. From Connors to Gretzky and Dreddy to Muhammad Ali, we have seen them all. We've seen Andre Agassi and, you know what, Martina Navratilova. And tonight, we see the best female players in the world trying to become the goddess of the beach. Well guarded on center court. Our Misty May trainer, Elaine Young, Carrie Walsh Jennings, and Rachel Walkholder. 9-5, game one, Walsh and Walkholder. And on frequent occasion, it is Carrie Walsh, who Rachel Walkholder credits for helping her believe in her ability to be an elite player here on the Pro Beach Volleyball Tour. Because Holly, it was Rachel Walkholder who played internationally with Carrie Walsh for her first career victories when Misty May Trainer was banged up. Carrie Walsh gave Rachel a chance, and, and Rachel gained a lot of confidence with those two victories overseas. And she has truly become one of the elite players, having great success with Elaine Youngs. And really, over the last few years, the only team who has had really any success against May and Walsh were Youngs and Walkholder. And I think, guys, even though tonight's about is it going to be Misty or Carrie who's going to be the goddess of the beach engine, we would be remiss to talk about what was the story of the year on the women's side, and that was the surprising breakup of Elaine Youngs and Rachel Walkholder. Well, considering, like she said, they're the only team to beat Walsh and May, and then all of a sudden they split up. What's that all about? Yeah. Holly, what was that all about? Well, he was a little frustrated. She wanted to do better internationally. And I think she wants to try out the tall team. Two big girls, two strong offensive players, and hopefully turn them into two defensive players. So she wants to experiment with that. I think that she thought this was the time to do it. In the middle of the season that put her out of the event at the end of the season? Well, yeah, better now than during Olympic qualifying. Olympic qualifying starts next year, and I think she wants to have a good feeling of the direction that she's going. Yeah, I guess I guess if you truly believe you're going to be a better team with somebody else, you got to at least make that you know make that switch and try it out. You never know until you try. <laughs> but it just didn't seem right. Nicole just didn't have enough experience, although you actually gave her a lot of experience. And then that switch, I'm not sure who's going to be playing defense on that team of Youngs and, and Brenna. Well, I think it's a different role for both players, and I think they haven't figured that out yet. So we'll see. Maybe they'll last, maybe they won't. But I think, you know, they'll have a good offseason together, and, and who knows? We might see a better team next year. Well, are we going to see fireworks during this match between Youngs and uh, Walkholder? It's always a potential. Anytime Elaine you Youngs is on the court, it's 11-9 now. Walsh and Walkholder, in, in an all fairness though to Rachel and Elaine, it's not that different than the breakup of Rogers and Scott, although that happened on the men's side at the end of the season after they had won three straight events. And Rogers and Dahlhauser had a better year. So we've seen it before. One thing we will not see anytime soon is the breakup of May and Walsh, although tonight they are on opposite sides of the net. 
Well, don't forget, fans, grab your cell phones and vote. Who do you think will be the 2006 Defensive Player of the Year on the AVP Tour? Text AVPA to 25000 for Rachel Walkholder. AVPB to 25000 for Holly McPeak. Holly, put your phone down. C to Misty May Trainer and D for Nancy Mason. Holly, put my phone down. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's I'm my phone. I'm using all your phones. <laughs> Who will be the 2006 Defensive Player of the Year? Just look at the stats. Yeah, a baby. <laughs> and over the top, Rachel Wachholm. Wow, that is, that's one of the toughest shots in the game right there. You know, the hard hit, everybody can do that. The cut shot, you can do that. The, the, the shot over the block down the line. But this shot, deep corner, the, what do they call it? The jumbo shrimp? Jumbo shrimp, deep corner. And, and to get it over Misty May's head yeah. and in is not easy. The defensive player is always trying to move forward to get to the angle or get to the line. And when that ball goes up and over your head, all you can do is watch it. Was there a touch? Yep, there was a touch. So the point goes to May Trainer. A touch on and the Youngs. line. A touch on the line. May Trainer and Youngs get the point. Elaine Youngs and Misty May against Kerry Walsh and Rachel Walkholder. Great finish by Misty May. Triple J, Jenny Johnson Jordan here tonight in costume at Caesars Palace. Talking to her hairdressers, thinking red might work next yeah. time. <laughs> and her partner, fellow mommy, with her babies with her. And their beautiful Davis. kids. Absolutely. That's Annette's son, Maya, and Jalen is Jenny's daughter right next to them. 5-2 run to tie things at 12. They finished the season very strong, finishing second place in the last two team events of the season. Did Jenny Johnson, Jordan, and Annette Davis. 13-12. 13-12, Walsh, Walkholder. It was convenient that they, they had both their children at the same time. Yes, not <laughs> so once, but twice. <laughs> twice, so All they could come them. back <laughs> and play together. All right, let's take next year off. All right, let's go to work. Let's make another family. Yeah. Elaine Young is with the point. This is a tight pass for Misty May. The serve is deep, catches are a little high. EY does a great job staying out of the net and poking it deep right over Kerry Walsh. She's playing great defense, but she transitions the ball better than anybody in the game. Great high overhand dig. EY gives her a good transition set. She goes up hard and just hammers it cross court. She did the total jackknife on that. She put her whole body into that hit. First lead of the match for May and Youngs. Oh, that's tight on the net. And Misty May finds open court. So May and Youngs have come storming back, and they now lead 15-13 here in game number one. Back at beautiful Caesars Palace on the world-famous Las Vegas Strip. What a way to spend a weekend, second to last weekend of the 2006 season. The finale, invitation only, Lake Tahoe. And amongst those participating in Tahoe, the greatest omission is that of none other than Elaine Youngs, because Elaine Youngs and Rachel Walkholder broke up later part of the season, and that meant that she did not earn enough points with a partner to get in. But Boss and Walkholder did. Now, that being said, she could have played with Walkholder still, but Walkholder chose to play with Jen Boss, and that left Elaine Youngs without enough points with Nicole Brana to come and play in the invitation-only tournament. Nancy Mason was also knocked out because of the partner change. Because she was she qualified with Jen Boss, but because Walkholder and Boss qualified, that knocked her out as well. So that's two top players out of Lake Tahoe. 
That's the one thing that we saw all those changes Holly early in the year on the men's side before the start of the season of course and that was the big story and the women for the most part not all partnerships of course but for the most part had remained consistent but by the end of the year everything had that domino effect. I'll, I'll tell you who's not upset. Hornst. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and now they're spending the weekend in Tahoe. And Elaine violation. Just, Elaine Youngs touches the net. That's right, just barely. The team of EY and Misty May put a lot of pressure on Rachel Walkholder siding out. That UI is a reach high. We can't see the net on that one, but she just reached it. Here it comes. Up, over. Oh, on the way down, she caught it with her bathing suit. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was yeah. her bathing suit, wasn't it? Uh, what, it what, it's engine, whatever. You got 139 wins, whatever. Yeah, all right. No bathing suit catch there. Just over the top for the point. Good game one. May Youngs came storming back. They had trailed 10-7. Scored with frequency from there, and now lead 17-15 here in game one. Best two out of three to see who will be. The goddess of the beach. Will Misty May defend her title? Or will Carrie Walsh win for the first time in her career? Oh, oh, the yeah. route by Youngs. Well, Elaine knows Rachel's game, too. Elaine looked like she was going to block the angle on that and then reach back to the line. Rachel tried to sneak it by the line. Oh, <laughs> right back at her. The only other time that Carrie and Misty faced each other was in this same tournament in Hawaii two years ago when Davis and May defeated Carrie and Elaine Youngs in three in the finals and Annette Davis became the queen of the beach. And now it is the goddess of the beach here at Caesars Palace. They're pretty much all goddesses, aren't they, Mike? I would say they are queens, goddesses and spectacularly athletic. Elaine Youngs with the knuckler. And Elaine Youngs with a great use of open court. And the little bit there was to the side of Kerry Walsh. Well, normally when that ball goes short and the attacker who has to pass the ball comes in close to the net to pass the ball, they don't get a very good approach. And generally speaking, they're not going to hammer that ball. They're just going to dink the ball around the block. Here it is, a short shot. Elaine has to come in short. She really doesn't back up enough to get a good approach to bang it. All she can do is just tip it over the block. that again she says deep middle angle big dig but she doesn't get a great transition set EY big block nether cover by Rachel she's moving and then the shortcut by EY over wall it's tough it, to put a ball away against that team it is game point for May and Youngs game one belongs to Misty May and Elaine Youngs 21-16. Misty Main Elaine Youngs took over and reigned supreme. Game one, it was Misty May and Elaine Youngs who stormed to a 21-16 victory. But in game two, Kerry Walsh and Rachel Walkholder did not submit to the lead. And they forced game three by winning game two, 21 to 13. 
Holly, the plyometrics, the, the extra strength training, the lost weight has made Misty May a better volleyball player. Do you agree or disagree? If you compete all week long, every single day, and then have to compete on the weekend, it's hard. Just it's think, hard to compete every single day. Just think how much better you'd be, Holly. <laughs> I would have won 136 tournaments or whatever you have. But well, you would have been three shy of singeing, yeah. so let's just make it 140 so you'd have bragging rights. No, but I just think if you're a competitive athlete and you're competing, I'm competitive. I want to win every game that I play, so I have to compete Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I rest and I have to compete Saturday and Sunday, too. Exactly. <laughs> Five, four, Walsh, walk holder. I believe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you work on your game, game situations, you improve, and you get to use it Saturday and Sunday, and that's the fun part. I like that fun all the time. Here we go. Five, four, game three. Six, four, Walsh and Walkholder lead here. Now just to close up the point on what is the right workout routine, I will tell you that I've seen Karch Karai work out on the sand, and he does exactly what you say, Holly. He doesn't always play games, but he always puts himself into game situations and treats every drill as match and championship point. And Sinjin, I think you would agree with that philosophy. Well, what you don't understand is Karch used to play all day, every day, <laughs> with me. And guess what? He, he was winning then, yeah, too. he was winning a so lot. So why did he change it? <laughs> Ask him. They there asked me during the men's show. No, I'll that. tell you what, when you get older, you have to adjust a little bit. You cannot put the kind of stress on your body that you did when you were in your 20s or even in your 30s. Remember, Karch is in his 40s. Rachel Walkholder is doing a great job of siding out and moving the ball around. And if she can side out every time, her team has a very good chance of winning this match. And Misty May with the finish. You know, that was a great set for Misty. Nice and high. She got up. She was facing the block, and she hammered the ball cross court to the line. Rachel wasn't even close to that one. By the way, Holly, we're not going to change the old guy's mind, so we might as well get back to the game, you know? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. The steel trap is closed. Walk holder. Walsh against May at the net. Youngs against Walsh at the net. Elaine Youngs with the finish. What a great point. Tied at seven. Walsh did an awesome job of covering the net, but you cannot give the other team three chances. There's one great one. Here's another great one. But here, one more chance. Oops. <laughs> There's the first block reaching way over the net to get that one. Reaching over again to get that one. But this, the last set was just a little bit off the net, so Kerry back up to see if she could dig that ball and wasn't able to. Deep float serve towards Walkholder. Walkholder finds the angle. Eight, seven, game three. Who will it be? Harry Walsh or Misty May? As part of the big weekend in Las Vegas, some of the AVP superstars got private tutoring from the staff at PartyPoker.net, the world's largest poker school. Annette Davis fared well. As did Tyra Turner. In all, it was the women who reigned supreme. Three times. These are the trips. She's got one in her hand, two on the board. Trips. So I won? You won. You won. A little fun with our friends from PartyPoker.net, a little beach volleyball, and a great weekend right here at Caesars Palace. What a great matchup. May Trainer Youngs won game one, 21 16. Walsh and Walkholder victorious in game two, 21 13. It is 8 7. Here in game three, will Carrie Walsh join Holly McPeak and Annette Davis and Misty May as goddesses of the beach? Great, great four players on center court here. Three of the four players are three of the four females who have surpassed a million dollars in earnings on the beach. The other, Sitting next to us, Holly McPeak. Ooh, that barely caught the line again. She has to make a great hit to get it around Carrie Walsh's block. 
And that was a great hit, but it was a little close. May, Youngs, and Walsh all surpassing seven figures in earnings this season. Nine, eight, May Youngs. That's that's where EY and Misty May are scoring their points. They're serving Rachel. They're get, trying to get her deep. And as soon as she gets a set that's more than three feet off the net, they drop and they've scored a point every time doing that. Four, one run for Misty May and Elaine Youngs. Walsh with another swing. This time she delivers. <laughs> Uh, a, a service air. I'm calling that a service air. Well, the truth is, EY's just going for her serve. She's on the bad side. She's going for her serve. She doesn't care if it goes to Carrie Walsh once or twice. Both Misty May Trainer and Elaine Youngs have played in the finals of each of the last three years in this event, either as finalists or chosen partners. Misty chose Elaine this year. Carrie Walsh chose Rachel Walkholder. And it's 10 9. That's a great play at the net by Carrie Walsh. EY has really quick hands over the net, but Carrie Walsh knows that and pokes it high and deep. This is as good as it gets to find out if it's Walsh or May who will be the goddess of the beach here at Caesars Palace. Kerry Walsh. And the finish! That's smart of Kerry Walsh to attack EY in transition. Misty's digging everything. EY's not used to being off the net. So this is a great dig, great drop by Kerry Walsh. Rachel sets her off the net and she hits the ball at EY and gets the point. Yeah, every time that ball's come back over the net and gone near Misty, she's dug it. So yeah, she wants to avoid Misty at all costs. On two. The point for Elaine Jones. If the ball is ever close to the net, Carrie Walsh should never bump it over. It, she just standing up is as is, is good of an attacker as anybody. She needs to attack that ball overhand. Instead, she bumps it short to EY and they get an easy transition play. Sinjin, you brought up the point earlier. She's the one female in the world who can pretty much stand at the net and hammer it down. Yeah, she just, she, she didn't have her footwork right, so she really couldn't get a good stretch out and, and get anything on that ball. All she could do is just give it a little pokey and it wasn't very effective. That is as effective as it gets. The root by Walsh. That's when Rachel Walkholder tells Carrie Walsh how much she loves her because she just saved her from looking really dumb. Third block of the match. Carrie Walsh reaches into the angle and gets EY's low angle. It's a great block in transition. Beautiful block. <laughs> Rachel knows she got lucky. Lucky that she has a partner like Carrie Walsh. 12 10. 12 11. Looked like a mix up on their defense. Looks like they doubled up angle. Misty saw that and took advantage. Hard hit line. Yeah, I don't know, even if their signals were right on that one, I don't know <laughs> if Rachel could have dug that ball. Well, somebody would have been at least <laughs> close to the ball. There's some money, there's some bragging rights, there's the title as goddess of the beach, and you know what? These last few points could determine our MVP this year. Or go a long way towards helping us. I'll tell you, one of the most difficult sets to hit right there, the ball coming from behind you. You can't see the net, you can't see the court in front of you. She went up and made a tremendous hit on that ball. 13-11. Big opportunity here. And Rachel Walkholder finishes. And that brings us to game match championship point. One point shy of becoming the goddess. 
Carrie Walsh to serve. Misty really got up on that. She did not want to have this game end right there. She got up and banged that ball cross court. Hey, anytime Misty Mays on the court, I think she has a chance to come back. It's still 14-12. She has a chance. She'll dig some balls. Game, match, championship point. And it is all over. Carrie Walsh is the goddess of the beach. Defeat Misty May Trainer and Elaine Young's winning game three, 15 to 12. And the newest goddess is none other than six feet of sunshine, Stanford Cardinal Carrie Walsh. Take a look at our Xbox 360 play of the match. What a great battle all evening long. Apropos that it went three games. Youngs and May earned that point, but the Gatorade Champions interview and Mary Strong belongs to Carrie Walsh. Carrie, it's the first time you've won the Goddess of the Beach, and it was against yes. your partner, Misty May. What was it like being on opposite sides of the net? You know, I thought this was supposed to be fun. That was way too <laughs> stressful. You know, Misty is unbelievable, and um, she got me here. You know, we're both in the finals, and this was our goal to meet each other in the finals. And I think it was a great match. You know, they kicked our butt in the first game. We got them in the second, and then the third, you know, was just two great teams battling out. But I much prefer to play with Misty. You know, she's just, she's such a solid player. She makes me better, and um, I like her side on my side. You played with so much fire. You really wanted to win this. What does this title mean for you? Is it up there with MVP? You know, yes, because, um, you know, I get to play with my competition, and it's so fun, and I love the fact that I can be adaptable and play with other people. You know, I learned so much about myself this weekend and so much of what I need to improve on by playing with other players, and my job out there is to make my partner's job easy, you know, and I, I have a long way to go. So I had so much fun, and um, I, it's so nice to be a goddess. I've always wanted to be one. So <laughs> You are definitely that. I don't look so good in my robe, but I'm having fun with it, so it's good. You definitely earned it, Carrie. Congratulations. Thanks, Mary. Congratulations to Carrie Walsh. You know what? She's one of our many goddesses on the AVP Crocs Tour. This concludes our coverage of the AVP Crocs Tour here in Las Vegas, Nevada, where once again, Carrie Walsh defeats her good friend and longtime playing partner, Misty May, to become the goddess of the beach. For Mary Strong, Holly McPeak, and Sinjin Smith, Mike Goldberg saying so long. You've been watching the AVP right here only on FSN.